Okay, th this gives you a pretty good side shot. Uh, one thing you'll notice is that I've got a little rubber stop here that, um, you know, if, for example, you, uh, somebody were to release the trunk from the inside or wherever it may be, you don't want to hit that, get the trunk to hit that metal part here. So, you know, just essentially you go ahead and if I can press the button here, now, it'll stop it right there. So it's a, just a good rubber stop. All it is is a, a chair, um, I guess you can say one of the, the cushions or grommets or whatever that goes in the leg of a chair. So I just cut it up and ri riveted this to the, the, the square tubing. And as far as the way you move it, you know, I've got a little uh, lock mechanism uh, that allows you to just pull the pin. And now that you pull the pin, then of course you can go ahead and un unlock the truck. So uh, it is kind of a little bit, bit of a bummer here now to actually get in here. But, you know, uh, I wanted to get this thing as close as I could to the car. So within the constraints of, of you know, what I wanted to do for the design, uh, you know, this is a pretty straightforward workaround. It, kind of a nice pen, you know, it, it, you just uh, slide it on through and then rotate it and it stays in place. Um, and I have the, the lower bolt pinned in, so there's no way that that thing's going to come on out either. All right, on, on the back side of this, I have, um, there's wire, I've got actually the, the cable here. I hope you can see it. Let me see, can you see that? Uh, yeah, I guess you can see it. There's a gray uh, conductor here, and this is actually a 16 wire conductor. And what I've done is I've actually tapped into it and I've, I've um, had the two plugs. One plug is for, um, actually both of these plugs do three things. Uh, one, uh, there's a, a trunk switch that um, I wanted to relocate that. And two, you of course have the lights for the, the license plate uh, light. And then three, you've got the video camera. So these two plugs right here, this wire harness um, actually goes on back and, and goes right to the, the license plate area on your car. And so what I've done is I've actually just, like I say, I've just ta uh, cut these and then uh, got this 16 wire conductor. It, this is a 16 gauge wire. You don't have to have, high, you know, a thick wire to do this. And uh, so I've just tapped it on end and ran this wire all the way down along right next to this, this uh, uh, conduit here, I guess you can say, down into the, really, the, if I can. So taking that wire, uh, uh, tapping on into it, putting the left and right blinker on, uh, really blinker or, and or uh, stop uh, signals on, tapping into it and then running that wire so what I've done is I've run it down here into the 16 wire plug. And this is kind of nice. It's a little, there's a cap here for weatherproof. You can unscrew that and then plug that into your mating harness. And of course the mating part of that is going to go to the, the uh, rear uh, assembly. Okay, I just want to give a quick little overview of this, the rear part here for the, that goes behind the Continental kit. This is just an aluminum. Um, I think it's like inch and a half, two inch uh, piece of aluminum, and it's been polished. Same thing as just a piece of aluminum plate that's got a couple angles on it. And uh, on the back side, if you can see here, um, you've got this guy right here is actually the video camera. I'll show the other side. I've got a clamped on end. And this was actually a hole after I put it together, I realized I didn't have enough room. Doesn't make sense what it is, but actually it's, I relocated the switch on the top here. This is a push button switch to release the trunk. Um, this is waterproof, it's for marine application, so it should be pretty good. And on the underside here, uh, you, you have the two lights here that um, are actually, again, this is came off the wire harness for the trunk, the trunk uh, includes the, uh, the the lights, and uh, really there's a connector inside the trunk lid area that that you know is, is 
is for the lights and the camera. The camera is, of course, right here. So you've got the lights, the camera, and I also included some lights here um, for, um, you know, backup and, and uh, parking lights. Um, you know, I have, of course, left and right, and you can see a mess of wires inside there that it's all packaged on up. Uh, I've got a little hole in the back side of this. You can't see that we're routing the wires. And of course the wire, um, you know, I've got the harness right there. It just comes on out. And this is the, the other 16 point connector that's waterproof. So um, I have some caps that go on the end of this. So I'll button this on up. Um, yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Again, a little push button here for the trunk of this, for the trunk. And uh, pretty straightforward. I'll go ahead and put this on now.